My name is Daisy Wu, and I'm in charge of PR for Zender company. So basically, Zender is an app for fire transferring, and it can connect multiple um, mobile devices without internet connection, and people can share files, movies, and other documents um, without being, consuming any data. And Xander has been um, working, working in the market of India and Southeast Asia and even Africa for over five years. So we have already acquired a huge uh, user base. Currently, we have more than 700 million global users, and a large portion of them are from India. So it's okay to say that our biggest market is in India. Basically, because Xander is an app that has already set up the foundation for people to transfer things, so we have an embedded player. So after people download or got uh, those files from their friends, they can just watch those movies. Basically, it's like you download something from the internet and it completely works offline. It is well known that Netflix is the king for PC era online streaming platform. They have such a huge user like base globally speaking. However, um, considering you know the industrial conditions of emerging markets, um, Xander, the business model of Xander isn't really that friendly to them, um, and it's mainly in terms of street conditions because first of all, Xander um, they are subscription based. So they charge users a large amount of fee at a time, which is like a hundred dollars or so something. Uh, this might be nothing to users from developed countries like United States or South Korea, but it might be a little bit too much, you know, for um, for users from emerging markets. Um, so basically, the movie chain model it. We promote um, small amount but high frequency transactions. We charge users pay per view. So they can watch movies for free for a while. Like we provide them with a free trial. And if they want to watch the full movie, they can pay a small amount and keep watching. So it's, you just pay one time. Um, and secondly, because uh, Netflix, it's a centralized um, platform. So basically they upload all the contents to their uh, central server and all those users are directly linked, connected to, um, to Netflix. So they have to spend a lot of money to maintain the central server. However, for Xander, uh, for movie chain, all users can just download movie from the cloud and this is a direct connect to the cloud, but then it's completely offline. So users can transfer those files offline to their friends. So we use each mobile device, like each user as a node, as a node to distribute our content. Okay. Mm. And well, the most important thing is that um, the industrial conditions are quite different uh, comparing those two, um, you know, two markets because to use Netflix, you will have to have really stable internet connection, and you will at least have, you know, large screen PCs at home in order to enjoy the thing. However, in a lot of emerging markets, people most likely are using their mobile phones to do a lot of things, um, and also the Wi-Fi coverage might be so not so prevail in those countries. So. That's why they need to use Xander to transfer a lot of things, and our data has proved the things that people are really um, thirsty for those online service, uh, for those offline services. Well, actually, currently. Um, the daily transaction, like the daily, the daily number of files being transferred on Zender app is crazy. So basically there are four types, um, like photos, music, um, files, uh, apps, and movies. Um, so we have 43 million movies being, uh, videos, not necessarily movies, but video contents being transferred every day. 
But however, we think uh, we think movies are the the, the one with biggest business potential mm -hmm. because to use offline services, you want the file to be as big as possible. That's why people do not want to waste their data on, you know, say, watching a movie, like streaming or burning your data. But for photos, I think most people are fine to, you know, um, spend some data on transferring a photo to a friend. So that's why we picked movie among all those, like, um, objects being shared in Zender. Well, Xander's been out there for five years already, so um, it's quite a mature app. Um, but for Movie Chain, we're, um, we're planning to launch the platform in India um, in a couple of weeks, like very soon. Um, actually, we have already acquired a lot of content from um, local Indian content providers. Um, we have started business cooperations with Eros, with Hangama, and with PVR. So we have already uploaded, you know, uh, quite a lot of movies to our cloud. And, and with our huge user base, actually we have both ends ready. We just need to launch the platform and everything's ready to go. We didn't pick India, India picked us because um, Xander, firstly, it was launched on Google Play and we didn't do any marketing events, but, um, but because some smartphone companies, they have, um, they have the necessity to pre-install a number of apps, um, so they picked Xander because it's very useful. And, we didn't do anything, but overnight, it was like all of a sudden, the natural growth on Google app just went rocket high in India. So that's why, that's when we realized, okay, so Indian users really have that need, like they have that demand to use offline transferring services. And that's why we, growly, uh, we gradually become one of the biggest, you know, um, file transferring app in India and even globally. Actually, currently we are on the uh, in the stage of um, pre-sale, and we've already um, we've already built connections with a lot of famous um, investors, organizational investors, and we are planning to launch our uh, first round of crowd selling um, end of uh, Feb. 2018, and we're going to release our white paper English version very soon, within a week or so. For business partners, we've actually already started cooperation with multiple uh, content providers. They're all major movie studios and movie distributors in India. And as you can see, they have already, uh, they have made videos to endorse this movie chain project. Um, but for the ICO project, um, we have Andy Tien, um, CEO of Applive, um, who is sort of like a celebrity in the crypto Gifto, right? Yeah, Gifto, the, the CEO of Gifto, and he's listed as one of our advisors, and he has also made uh, a movie to endorse um, this movie chain project as well. It's quite rare for those ICO projects to have already had a huge user base, and Gifto and uh, movie chain are two very unique examples, and I think that's why Andy um, speaks highly of this project, and he he said uh, he told us that he wouldn't just agree to be advisors to any project, but he's quite picky about you know projects. Well, it is well known that Korean is one of the biggest market for crypto exchange. So I think for any 
Any project who wants to launch an ICO, Korea is like necessary evil. You have to be here in order to be, yes, in order to be recognized by the world. Everybody would be asking like, have you been listed on any Korean exchange platforms? And that's like one of the criteria for people to pick, you know, projects to invest in. So that's why, and also because we have good relationships with, um, with Gifto and other, um, other projects or companies who have stepped into the Korean market earlier. Um, so we basically are just following their passes and trying to, um, to, to borrow some of their social connections. And because Andy's been really helpful to the Movie Train project and he has introduced a lot of Korean um, networks to us. For now, I think the best way is to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or any social platforms, or most importantly on Telegram. Um, you just, put, uh, just type movie chain and you will find our group. So we will be updating most of our, uh, we will be updating our information um, in, inside the group and also um, on our official website as well, moviechain.io. Uh, our crowdfunding information on those social groups and on our official website as well. So if you want to participate in the ICO, just follow us on those social channels and you will be notified um, right away. And well, for the other part, because uh, our Xander platform, uh, our Xander app is mainly popular in India and Philippines, Indonesia, and a lot of African countries, so maybe it's a little bit uh, difficult for Korean users to directly like um, experience the product. But it's available on the app, like App Store, so you can just go download Xander and try to, you know, just just try to experience, yeah, how how it works. And for the Movie Train project, it's very likely that you have already missed the opportunity to invest in um, Netflix. And now it has grown to be a unicorn and profit-making machine. So I, I bet you regret this thing. However, here comes the opportunity to invest in a similar company, but focusing more on the emerging market. Um, and you, should, you really shouldn't miss the opportunity to uh, mingle with movie chain. <laughs> OK. Is that all? Thank you.